everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I'm back. Um, we just got back from vacation a few days ago, and I have a huge haul. Um, I went to Scrap Be More, a nonprofit um, craft store in Baltimore, Maryland, and they are amazing. If their address is 913 West Bar Street in Baltimore, Maryland. If you get a chance to go, go. The ladies that are in there, fabulous. Um, the day that I went, initially had planned to go on a Saturday, but because I am friends with them on Facebook, they had sent a thing out and said, you know, on Wednesday, uh, the, all the paper crafting, the stamps, the dies, uh, and ephemera, every, anything paper crafting was 50% off. So my husband, yes, Mr. Crafting by the Pond, uh, drove me an hour and 15 minutes away from where, um, we were staying with family, uh, just to go to this sale. And, um, holy cats. We, the shop opened at 11. We were the first ones there. We were in there for about 45 minutes before anyone else came. And one of the ladies that volunteers there, um, who was working in the back, like sorting, th sorting items and putting things together, she was actually from Columbia, South Carolina, where we live. So, I mean, it's a small world. It, it really, really is. But anyway, so because uh, I did acquire so much, um, I thought I would break it up and show you like the stamps and I think, yeah, some of the stamps and I got a couple dies, not very many. Um, I would show you those first and then I will come back and do an ephemera and junk journal haul that I did from them. All of the items that I'm going to show you, I paid $60 and some change for. And I don't even have like all of the stamps that I got because my daughter-in-law and daughter, um, craft, they're, st you know, card makers and such. So, I like bought the, these bags of stamps and they just kind of went through and picked what they wanted. So, I mean, this is not even a complete, like it was crazy. Like I, I told my husband if like when I die and go to heaven, that's what's going to look like <laughs> is this craft store. But okay. So enough yakking. Let's see the goods, shall we? Okay. So I've got a huge bag. Um, this first bag was full and it was labeled retro Christmas mystery stamps. The bag said $5, but everything in the bag was, you know, it was 50% off. So I paid two fifty, dollars and this bag was full. And like I said, it's not full right now because, you know, the girls went through <laughs> and grabbed what they wanted. So... Let me just show you. I think I got everything out of there. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's a vintage Santa. Oh, he's cool. I didn't even know he was in there. I haven't even really looked at this stuff. Um, so this is an Anna Griffin stamp. And this is a vintage uh, Santa Claus or Ho Ho as my granddaughter used to call him. Um, this is not a Christmas stamp, but this is one that my husband picked out. <laughs> He said that was us, but I have brown hair, so I don't know. He said I could color it. Um, and then, of course, he picked out this one. You're my favorite, because he's. I tell him that all the time. And then here is another Anna Griffin stamp. Um, these are to be great for the junk journaling. The, the the stamp itself is good. They just, you know, I need to clean it. I, I don't really care about that. Some I know some folks really just do. Um, here's just some, uh, fleur de lis, um, and I have no idea what this is, just a piece of chipboard. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Smiling friends and flowers welcome. So that's cute. There's just a little bee 
that's not something I would have picked, but it was like in the bag. Um, oh, and of course the palm tree, he had to have that. So my husband was amazing in the store. He like went through and grabbed a bunch of stuff. And here's a little old uh, Stampin' Up birdhouse from 1996. I think I have that one, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is another Anna Griffin. Um, it says Season's Greetings, the vintage. And like I said, it just needs to be cleaned up, but the stamp itself is good. Um, random piece of white ribbon. Like, I have to go through all this. Um, and then this was in the bag. It's uh, K and Company, and you guys know how I am, but this is totally vintage. K and Company stickers. I didn't know there were stickers in here. I would have saved that one for the sticker one. And then this one, I don't think it was in there and it was marked like two dollars but it was a I paid a dollar for it I think it was just like I said things everything just kind of got mixed up because the girls went through everything um but that's really pretty I thought just like for nice for the fall so that was one little bag and like I said everything is kind of cattywampus so they had um, a loose stamp, fill a bag, and it was $5 the sale price. And I had this bad boy was jam-packed. Um, and, but now it's not because, like I said, the girls got to it. Um, so let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay, so there's just some stickers. I think that was like a freebie she gave me. Um, my husband liked this one. I could have left it, but it says it's a party and you're invited. I, I have no idea why he wanted. <laughs> He's like, this is a good one. <laughs> um, and this one says, I love you more. That goes with you're my favorite. Um, and then this is just like a little nurse's cap. It's an old Stampin' Up from 19, I think, 98. And I think this one actually goes to the bear set. You know, that vintage, that bear that they have. I think I have that, but he just thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then this is just, um, a very, you know, it's just some script that's really pretty. So I like that. And then this one is a Hampton art. I don't know if I have this or not, but he grabbed it and said, you could probably do something with that. So anyway, oh, I forgot. Uh, hi mom. Hi pop. Morgan. Dottie. Everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. I just am so excited. I just lost track of myself. So, um, hey, okay, so let's keep going. So I just like have this bag on the floor. So this uh, one was labeled $8. It had not been opened. I took the plastic off of it. And um, like I said, these are brand new, um, never been used. I didn't take the plastic off off the actual stamp so very vintage love 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 so initially like I said it was eight dollars and um, they had it for eight dollars and I paid four for it because again everything was half off but this stamp when it sold was twenty four dollars initially I don't know if you can see that so that was a great find um Okay, so this one, um, it, I don't know, it doesn't, it says Art Stamps and Tool from 1995 and very, very vintage. I liked it with the old clock and the box and the vase. I thought that was really pretty. So I picked that one up. Um, this one is a score and a half. I don't know. Who, who the maker was. Oh, this one said six. I paid three for it, so I thought it was worth it. These are very, very vintage. I don't know, um, you know, who the maker is, but there's a Victorian lady, um, and you can kind of change the dress and, um, you know, just different accoutrements like the shoes and the purse and a fan. And then this one has actually like uh, a teapot, a teacup, a perfume bottle, um, a book with one of the feather pens, which my daughter and I bought feather pens. 
<laughs> and, and inkwell. Um, and uh, so, yeah, this was cute. I thought I, I really, really liked it. I was excited for this one. And I think this one was labeled $4. So I got that for $2. This one is a scream. It is... Um, Who makes this? This is made by uh, does it, rubbernation.com and and it has you know they're not mounted or whatever, but it has like this lady on here. Um and it has all these like different sayings on there. Um and it's you know, it's just classic. A balanced diet is an M&M &M in each hand. Uh, one happy stamper. Uh, busy hands and ha are happy hands. Cover me, I'm stamping. Oh no, she's buying more stamps. Certified stampaholic. The sound of one stamper stamping. Cha-ching. <laughs> what does she do with all those stamps? I mean, this is just fabulous. So I'm going to be making some cards with that. Uh, I thought these would be great, you know, for happy mail for the crafty friends. So this was great. And again, it doesn't say, um, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I, it was like change cents. Um, okay. So this was, uh, couture designs, hot couture designs, and it was labeled $8. Again, everything was 50% off. So I only paid $4 for all of these stamps in here. And they're all like vintage, um, and fabulous and wonderful. Um, and I'm going to, probably come back and once I have them all like stamped out because a lot of them I don't even know what they are like this one I know is a fan there's a pair of gloves um and this looks like a perfume aerator a hairbrush and a mirror um d different hats uh oh parasol that's cute and let me see what is this oh this is like a the actual lady um, and that's just a face there, a long pair of gloves, a, a large fan. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I have to stamp it out. Um, and this just looks like some flowers. Uh, this looks like a necklace and a pair of earrings, um, a lady in the mirror. Um, this looks like a big hat box. Um, let's see, what is this one? I, this is, a, I don't know. <laughs> I have to stamp it. Um, this is just the flowered arch and some more flowers. And this says something and I don't know because it's backwards. Uh, dress form and uh, a purse. So this, you know, I thought for $4, that was great. Um, hold on. Digging back in the bag. We're almost done, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We're at 13 minutes, so we'll try to keep it, you know, pretty quick. So this is a retired um, Stampin' Up! set, and it's Reason to Smile. They had it marked for $4, and I picked it up for 2 So, and it's never even been used. Um, the next one I picked up is Seaside Sketches from 2003. This one was also $4 and, um, this been, looks like it's been gently used, so that's okay. I always did kind of want this one and never picked it up. So, got that one. And this one, again, like I said, this was four. I paid two. This one was marked eight dollars. And it is the, um, hold on, open it. It's the Feathered Friends. Uh, um, and it has, like, all of the birds. And it's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, they had it marked for eight. And, of course, I paid for it and I've always wanted this one and if you go on eBay and you look to find the retired Stampin' Up products 
you better get ready to give up the kidney because um, it ain't cheap by no means. So when you can find items like this that are gently used, gently loved, um, this one looks like it was mounted. If it was used, it was very well taken care of. So um, again, $4. Can't beat that with a stick. All right. Um, three last items, if you can believe it. I know I've been talking really fast. This is the uh, Veridity Rose uh, from Crafter's Companion, and it was marked $3, so I paid uh, half of that. So it comes with a rose, a cupcake, a mouse, and a teapot. So I thought those were, you know, you can't get dyes for $1.50. I'm sorry. Um, this Tim Holtz um, ticket, um, I don't have this, so I wanted to pick this up, the ticket strip by Tim Holtz, and um, I don't even remember, I think it was like they had it labeled for $2, so I paid a dollar for it. What? Tim Holtz for a dollar. A dollar. Um, and then, so this is a, um, uh, a rosette uh, die um, from Tim Holtz. It was marked a dollar, no, two dollars, and I paid a dollar for it. Because again, I went on the day that it, everything was on sale. So, okay, so that is the stamp haul as part of the Scrap Be More. Um, the nonprofit uh, scrap reuse store in Baltimore, Maryland. I swear to you, if you have opportunity to go, please go. They're a great organization. They, um, you know, resell craft supplies to keep them out of the landfill. They also do, um, you know, they have a cooperative um with the local teachers in the area where they provide them with crafting supplies uh, for the craft room, for the, you know, for their classrooms, um, which is amazing. And I mean, they just give the stuff away. So um, if you have opportunity, please go and support them. The organization is amazing. Um, the ladies that work in there that run it, part, they were just so pleasant. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I will be doing a junk journal and ephemera and sticker haul also from Scrap Be More. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Be sweet and be kind to each other. Bye.